Buenos Aires is Argentina's large, cosmopolitan, capital city. Its center is the Plaza de Mayo, lined with stately 19th century buildings, including Casa Rosada, the iconic presidential palace. Buenos Aires is the birthplace of the tango, and like the dance, it is captivating, seductive, and bustling with excited energy. Atmospheric old neighborhoods are rife with romantic restaurants and exciting nightlife, and Buenos Aires' European heritage is evident in its architecture, boulevards, and parks. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Buenos Aires, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Parque de la Costa. Parque de la Costa is an amusement park located in Tigre, a northern suburb of Buenos Aires. The largest theme park in Argentina opened its doors in 1997, and since then, it has received more than 15 million visitors, with more than 50 attractions such as roller coasters, carousels, and rides for younger children. The park caters to the whole family. There are also unique live shows with plenty of action and special effects, and a great selection of restaurants and eateries to please all tastes. Number 9 is Tetro Colón. One of the most important opera houses in the world and a Buenos Aires landmark, Tetro Colón began operating in 1857, with the current space opening in 1905. Now fully restored to its former glory, visitors can take in symphonies, operas, and ballets in this majestic building. Its classical horseshoe auditorium makes for great viewing and acoustics, and is often cited as one of the top five opera houses in the world. At number 8 is Parque Treta Febrero. Parque Treta Febrero is a vast urban park of approximately 400 hectares, located in the neighborhood of Palomero in Buenos Aires. The main area of the park is between Libertador Avenue and Filguero Alcourt Avenue. This expensive, tranquil park features four scenic lakes, a large rose garden, many colorful plants, and various tree species. Visitors can enjoy the beautifully landscaped grounds, with bridges going over ponds that make it so attractive. Number 7 is Buenos Aires Metropolitan Cathedral. The Buenos Aires Metropolitan Cathedral is the main Catholic church in Buenos Aires and is located in the city center, overlooking the Plaza de Mayo. The cathedral is a splendid church with high ceilings, beautiful stained glass windows, marble columns, and frescoes on the walls. Visitors can admire the Rococo-style altarpiece that features the Virgin Mary and the Holy Trinity, and the large German organ that dates from 1871. The former seat of Pope Francis, this cathedral has a history dating back to the early 17th century. At number 6 is the La Ventana Tango Show. Enjoy a traditional Argentine performance of tango and folklore, danced in a beautifully restored three-floor tenement building. Sit back and prepare to be mesmerized by a flawless performance of traditional tango, featuring an orchestra, two tango singers, and six dancing couples in handsome, authentic costumes. Enjoy a sumptuous three-course meal of classic Argentine cuisine, accompanied by delicate local wines. At number 5, Casa Rosada. The Casa Rosada, the pink-colored palace, is the executive mansion and office of the President of Argentina. Seen of much of the city's history, it was from the balconies of the Casa Rosada that Juan and Evita Perón addressed the masses during the late 1940s and early 1950s. The Casa Rosada Museum, behind the palace itself, stands on the spot occupied by the original colonial fort of Buenos Aires. It explores the history of Argentina from colonial times to the present and houses the remains of the original walls of the former customs house. Number 4 is the Cementero de la Recoleta. One of the world's great cemeteries and one of the city's most memorable sites, the Cementero de la Recoleta is a city in miniature. The cemetery, which opened to the public in 1822, is a dreamy vision of domes, pantheons, and sculptures right in the heart of Buenos Aires. Scientists, writers, presidents, and the famous are laid to rest here. The most famous resident is Maria Eve Duarte de Perón, or Evita. At number 3 is Obelisco. Built in 1936 from white stones to commemorate the city's founding, the obelisk, or obelisco, is one of Buenos Aires' most important monuments and an icon of the city itself. The obelisk stands 67.5 meters tall at the intersection of 9 de Julio Avenue, one of the widest avenues in the world, and Corrientes Avenue. Number 2 is Museo Nacional de Bellas Arts. The Museum of Fine Arts in Buenos Aires is among the best in the world, with works by South American artists, in addition to the big names like Van Gogh, Degas, Monet, and Picasso. 
Housed in a large building that was originally a pumping station, there are paintings, tapestries, carvings, and rotating temporary exhibits on display for all visitors to enjoy. And at number one is the Galileo Galilei Planetarium. The Galileo Galilei Planetarium, commonly known as Planetario, is located in Parque Tre de Febrero in the Palermo district of Buenos Aires. This sphere-shaped building, housing a circular room that is 20 meters in diameter and has 360 reclining seats, was opened in 1967. At the entrance of the planetarium, there is a metallic meteorite that was found in the Chaco province in 1965, and on the first floor of the museum, you can see moon rocks brought from the Apollo 11 mission. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Buenos Aires. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.